Welcome back to the Biotechnology Lecture Series. This is the seventh lecture on the environmental biotechnology. In this lecture, we will discuss hyperaccumulation and solid waste treatments in detail, with its processes and some questions in the last. Hyperaccumulation is a phenomenon where certain plants have the ability to absorb and accumulate high concentrations of specific elements or compounds from the soil or environment. The main key points in hyperaccumulation includes plant adaptation, types of elements, beneficial aspects, phytoremediation applications, examples of hyperaccumulating plants, challenges and limitations. In plant adaptation, certain plants have evolved specific adaptive mechanisms to hyperaccumulate substances often metals or metalloids. This adaptation serves as a defense mechanism or a way to regulate their physiological processes, allowing them to thrive in environments with high concentrations of these elements. Hyperaccumulation is particularly notable for specific elements such as nickel, cadmium, arsenic, lead, and zinc. These elements are absorbed and accumulated by certain plants in higher concentrations compared to normal plants, showcasing their unique ability to accumulate these substances. Beneficial aspects of hyperaccumulating plants is to accumulate high concentrations of pollutants presents a significant advantage. This trait allows for their use in phytoremediation, a process where these plants aid in the removal and detoxification of contaminated soils. Through the absorption and accumulation of pollutants, these plants contribute to environmental cleanup efforts. Phytoremediation applications includes in remediating contaminated sites, such as industrial areas or mining sites, by reducing the concentration of toxic elements in the soil. Some notable examples of hyperaccumulating plants include Thlaspi carrierolescens, Alpine pennycress, which hyperaccumulates zinc and cadmium, and Alyssum mural, golden tuft, known for hyperaccumulating nickel. These examples underscore the diversity of plants with this unique trait. However, hyperaccumulation is not a universal trait across all plants and elements. It is specific to certain plants and elements. Not all pollutants can be effectively hyperaccumulated. Additionally, the growth and effectiveness of hyperaccumulating plants may be influenced by a variety of environmental factors further adding to the complexity of their application. Understanding and addressing these challenges are essential for utilizing hyperaccumulation effectively in environmental management. Solid waste treatment refers to the process of managing and treating solid waste materials to minimize their impact on the environment and public health. The main key points in solid waste treatment includes waste segregation, methods of treatment, environmental considerations, waste reduction and reuse, legislation and regulations, technological advancements. Waste segregation is the initial and crucial step of waste management. It involves the categorization of waste into distinct groups such as organic, recyclable and non-recyclable materials. This classification facilitates appropriate treatment of each type of waste enabling targeted and efficient waste management processes. In waste management, various treatment methods are employed to process and manage waste effectively. One common method is incineration, where waste is combusted at high temperatures to reduce its volume and transform it into either energy or ash. Another method is landfill disposal, which involves carefully designated areas with proper lining and monitoring to prevent environmental contamination. Additionally, composting involves the biological decomposition of organic waste to produce nutrient-rich compost for enriching soil. Recycling, another crucial method, includes the reprocessing of waste materials like paper, glass, plastics, and metals to manufacture new products. Lastly, waste to energy, WTE entails the conversion of waste into energy, often through combustion or other chemical processes. 
Environmental considerations is an essential aspect of waste management and its impact on the environment. Effective solid waste treatment significantly contributes to pollution reduction, minimizes greenhouse gas emissions, and aids in the conservation of natural resources. Promoting waste reduction at the source and encouraging the reuse of items are vital strategies in waste management. By reducing waste generation from the outset and finding innovative ways to reuse materials, we can minimize the overall volume of waste produced, thus lessening the burden on waste management systems and the environment. Many countries have enacted legislation and regulations to govern and oversee proper waste management practices. These laws are in place to ensure that waste is managed in a manner that is both environmentally sound and compliant with defined standards. The field of waste management continually evolves through ongoing research and technological advancements. These advancements focus on enhancing the efficiency of waste treatment processes, reducing the environmental footprint associated with waste management, and finding innovative ways to recover valuable resources from waste. Here are some research questions from the topic. Number one, how can hyperaccumulating plants be optimally utilized for environmental remediation and pollution control? Number two, what innovative technologies improve solid waste treatment, maximizing resource recovery and minimizing environmental harm? And number three, how can public engagement enhance sustainable waste management practices like recycling and composting? That's all from the seventh lecture. See you in the next video for lecture number eight.